any new hobbies uh, gained over the lockdown or uh, how do you fill your time? And Man, it was actually quite hard from going from Vegas, from watching Izzy's fight and then going, not, li not being able to leave your house, pretty much stuck in your bedroom. Um, that was pretty pretty extreme um, transition. Uh, but, you know, I've got flatmates and I've got a good setup, so I had enough things to kind of keep me entertained and keep me busy and train the day away. Um, surprisingly, I didn't pick up cooking. <laughs> I had flatmates that cooked for me and um, I was lucky enough to, uh, um, you know, survive. <laughs> um, but, yeah, just kind of did whatever it else did, just fill your day up with a few things. I, I had a bit of structure going into it. Um, I try to start the day off a bit of yoga, something different, learn it, get a bit more flexible, um, read a few more books, um, watch a lot of Netflix, you know, all, the, all those kind of things that kind of fill your day up. Did so many podcasts with um, people reaching out, just wanted to have chats. So it was a good time to kind of reconnect with family that you don't speak to often and um, stay connected that way. So it was um, a nice change, you know, taking a break from you, your usual and um, trying to get out of your comfort zone and, and do something different. Yeah. What about the, your flatmates cooking? Did you put any weight on or did you look after that? Man, that was the thing. I didn't want to come out of this lockdown uh, letting myself go. So yeah, I made sure if I, I was going to eat, I would make room for it. So I had a set up in my garage. You know, I borrowed one of the bikes from the gym, had a bag, um, had my bike to go for rides in the day when it was sunny. So uh, we did enough to kind of maintain some sort of fitness. So um, now I'm not hurting like a few of the other guys. I see them breathing quite heavy and... Um, Hey, you should have been uh, doing something. So the training never stops, you know, even though the gym's closed, it's a lifestyle. If, if you choose this as a, as a job, um, even the lockdown, you can always do something, always work on something and um, always try to get 1% better. I'm talking about a job, when are you able to get back to work? <laughs> yeah, it's an interesting time, you know, with fights back on in America, they're only using American fighters. So um, us being international, uh, we've had to kind of wait till our borders open up, but um, so yeah, I, I, they have reached out to me. Um, there is a potential fight, maybe August, maybe September. Um, I can't say who or where the location is just yet, but um, there is something and we are talking. So at least there's something to work towards. And um, you know, that I'm fully motivated now just to get back to work and get back to where we left off. You know, we, we don't want to take the, um, the foot off the gas just yet. And um, 2020, we can still finish it the right way um, and just fight as much as we can. Um, so that's the plans and um, just keep climbing the rankings. Uh, still number seven in the world. Um, that hasn't changed. There's a lot of uh, flyweight matchups happening in the next few months. So I will see um, you know, who's, who's available, who's you know, on a win streak and uh, who wants to try to take my spot. So um, we'll be more than ready. And um, yeah, I've, I've been working on a few things um, straight back into the gym trying to put that into practice and use it. So um, yeah, I've got a few things in my toolbox that um, will uh, surprise a few people, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the new Kai and, the, and uh, seeing what this gym can produce come the end of the 2020. Well, we're all looking to see the same thing. Awesome. It's good to see you, Tony. It's been a while, you know. <laughs> Miss your face around the gym, but it's always good to have you around. Uh, it's great to come back in and the vibes never change. Never change. Awesome, bro. Appreciate Cheers, it, brother. Mate. Thank you.